good morning. Welcome to the Dharma Realm Buddhist University High School Counselor Info Session. It's really wonderful to have you all here, and we're really excited to share a little bit about our university. Just a little bit agenda for this session. So first we'll talk about who we are, then we'll talk about who would be a good fit for DRBU, and then we'll cover our admissions and financial aid policies. What is Dharma Realm Buddhist University? So we are located in Northern California. We're about two hours north of San Francisco in a town called Ukiah, California. The focus of the university is to help people to not only answer questions about how to live a meaningful life, but also how to put it into practice. And we're not all Buddhists here, but we do share a set of core values that are reflected in the Buddhist tradition. So compassion, care, and mutual res um, respect and support for every individual in their search for joy, contentment, and truth. So this is seen through not only our academic programs, but also it's in how the faculty and staff interact with the students. And it's also seen in our financial aid model, which we'll talk about later, and also our campus environment. A little fun fact, we share a campus with a Buddhist monastery, which is called City of 10,000 Buddhas. And it's one of the largest monasteries in Northern California and was also named one of the world's sacred sites by National Geographic. So when you step onto campus, a lot of people do comment on the peacefulness of the campus and really treasure the special environment. And one way that you can see that is actually we have a lot of wildlife, so we have a lot of deer roaming around campus, turkeys, and we even have a lot of peacocks. We might have the highest population of peacocks of any college campus, um, but I think it just really shows that we live in harmony with all the living creatures and beings on our campus. Um, we also share a campus with a K-12 through school, and um, there are also elderly monks and nuns at our campus. So it's a really intergenerational campus. So students are not only interacting with other university students, but people of all ages and backgrounds. So at DRBU, we have one integrated liberal art degree, which is comprised of 10 different strands. There are Buddhist, Western classics, Chinese classics, Indian classics, languages. You can choose between classical Chinese or Sanskrit. There's mathematics, science, rhetoric, and writing, and capstone. So over the four years, a student will go through all 10 strands. As you can see, we have a great book program where the students engage directly with primary text. So there's no modern textbook. At DRBU, we do not have lectures. The students, as a cohort, do share inquiry style discussion in class. That will enable everybody to engage deeply with the wisdom from the different traditions and as with themselves as well. As you can imagine, this is a very deeply investigative and reflective process. And to facilitate this, each class has their regular contemplative exercises. And also every semester, the whole university will have a CEI, Contemplative Exercise Immersion Week. There's no class, there's no homework, but everybody do guided practice together. DRBU offers some public share inquiry events. Everybody who sign up is invited to do share inquiry together. So if you're interested, do keep an eye out for our share inquiry events. We view a university as a place devoted to understanding ourselves, the nature of the wider universe and its working and our place in it. Yeah, so our community our, at DRBU was really committed to educating the whole person. So not just intellectually, but also spiritually and emotionally. Um, many of our professors hold advanced degrees from you know, a lot of very well-known and academically prestigious universities. So they really take from their background, not only this traditional academic training, but also really focusing as well on the whole person. So it's a really holistic approach to education. I'm really emphasizing not only the academics, but also the other parts of being a person. And we are a secular liberal arts school located in a Buddhist environment. So we have students from very diverse backgrounds, 
all different faith traditions. So um, some of our students are Catholic, Hindu. We have students that are also pagan. Um, and then also students with no faith tradition at all or students who are agnostic or atheist. Um, so it's really a diverse community. At DRBU, we've been continuously encouraging students to just explore the wider world and its various cultures. We try to provide equal opportunities for our students to go study abroad and immerse themselves in other cultures and different languages. We have done summer programs for students to improve their language skills. And so far, we've sent students to Taiwan. And students also went to Nepal and Italy. And uh, our students do reflect that it has been a life-changing experience for them whenever they do experience study abroad. So part two, who would be a good fit for DRVU? So as high school counselors, you interact a lot with students and we wanna try and give you a, a good picture of who might really enjoy being at DRVU. So far, the students that have been at DRBU, we found that they are all very curious people. So people that ask a lot of why questions, who aren't afraid to ask uncomfortable questions and really keep probing and investigating and just really want to figure things out, both in the kind of the academic realm, but also in these questions that are very existential. So asking a lot about what is their purpose in life and where are they going and how do they best contribute to the world? So students that really have that kind of active mind in regards to these questions and feel really compelled to try and figure it out. It's also students that really benefit from a somewhat non-traditional learning environment and style and benefit from a lot of individual attention. DRB is a very small university, so students get a lot of personal attention from the professors. There's, it's, a, it's much more of, um, of a dialogue. We don't have lectures, so the classes are much more about the interaction between students and professors and students among students. Um, people that benefit a lot from having that back and forth. You know, maybe they don't, they don't do the best on sort of like lecture, being lectured to and just, you know, doing a multiple choice in exam, but really are interested in refining their thinking and willing to really work at that. So in some interests that students might have are interest in philosophy, writing, arts, religion, Eastern studies, and spirituality. We want to share some students' reflection. And this is Warren from BA 22. So he graduated this year. It's, it's very nice to see this photo because I remember when Warren just came in the first day of new student orientation, actually. He was such a shy, <laughs> shy person. But then over time, when I get to know him, I do find out he is actually deeply sensitive, very, has a lot of uh, deep thoughts and great writer as well. Warren gave us his reflection of his uh, experience at DRBU. We think it's pretty representative of many of our students. So here is his direct quote. He said, for a long time, it was difficult for me to speak my mind and articulate what I truly wanted to say to others. I didn't think that what I had to say would be of much value to other people. But over time, I've learned that my voice does have value. And so do the voices and perspectives of others. In class, I was able to learn from others and realize that people deserve much more than how I depict them to be inside of my head. I've learned that people can be insightful, vulnerable, and honest, uh, as long as I am receptive to those parts of myself as well. This is a quote from Warren. So yeah, a question you might be thinking about is, well, what did the students do after they graduate? And what is sort of like their possible pathways after DRBU? So our graduation rate right now is about 63%. And of the people that graduate, 96% are employed or pursuing further education. So I think it really shows that Going through the DRBU education really prepares people to actively contribute to the world. I think because when you're at DRBU, you are given a lot of responsibility and kind of driving your own education. And um, there's a lot of choices that students can make here and how they want to craft what they're doing in their work study opportunities um, and outside of class. So they actually are really well suited to then 
finding out how, how they want to contribute to the world and what areas they're most interested in further pursuing. So our young alumni right now are starting careers in areas of education, nonprofit work, marketing, technical writing, business, accounting, tech and finance. I think it just really shows the wide variety of things that students can do after they graduate from DRBU. So part three, um, we'll talk a little bit about our admissions and finan financial aid policy, which I think really sets us apart from other universities. Right, so we are committed to access and affordability. So at DRBU, we take the spirit of service and generosity very sincerely. We want to give all students education and we don't want financial concerns to be an obstacle. We have a service scholarship program that allows students to graduate completely debt-free while working with and for the community. We will make sure that anybody with whatever situation, whatever needs they have, DRB will meet, meet their needs. And also many students, they've learned how and what it means to be a member of community. And just to kind of paint the picture more with numbers, the total direct cost of the, of the bachelor's program is 28000 So that includes all the tuition fees and room and board as well. And the average financial aid awarded for undergraduates is 24300 And 100% of students are currently receiving financial aid. So I think this just really shows how committed we are to affordability and for the cost to not be prohibited at all for um, students that attend DRBU. The missions and criteria. A reminder of early action deadline, which is November 15th. Regular decision deadline is January 15th, 2023. We also accept rolling admission. So rolling admission will be open until the class is full, which is normally class size is capped at 15 students. We're also on Common App. You can find us there. Uh, SAT and ACT is optional. For international students, TOEFL or duolingo test is required. There is no minimum GPA that's required for DRBU, and our acceptance rate is so far around 50%. And we really do value students, their intention, and why they want to come to DRBU. Students are evaluated holistically through their essays and interviews, so we do pay more attention to their good fit for our program. Great, and then now we'll move on to the Q&A session. 